in the previous video we have completed the shotgun functionalities now in this video we will be focusing on the UZ or you can say the mini machine gun so first of all for that let's go inside the resources folder and create a new animator controller but as you know that all of the animation parameters and transitions are the same just the animation motion are different so we can just simply duplicate this gun animator and then what we will do with it is simply rename this to gun animator or you can say u z i animator that's it now if we open up the player and inside the rifle holder as you can see i have deactivated bo both of the handguns and the shotgun okay now we will add the uzi or uz so inside the guns go inside prefabs then gun models and you can see this gun 03 right here so just simply drag and drop this first right there and then right down here now select both of them then click on prefab unpack completely then let's go ahead and rename them as uz and right here as well now select both of them reset their transform and now what we will do is we will click on player and then instead of the shotgun animator now we will add the user eye animator so just drag and drop that in there now if we try to play the game as you can see here is our player you can see there is this for now we don't have any script available so that that's why our player isn't moving anywhere as you can see it plays the animation but the player doesn't move okay so what we will do now is we will fix this so let me first of all close it then let's double click on this user eye animator and right here what we will do is we will basically duplicate this animation okay and we will set this as the default okay so now if we go ahead and play this again okay there is our player now let's try to position this both use it correctly okay so let me quickly do that so as you can see that i have positioned this uh, right hand user eye correctly as you can see and now what i will do before closing the game okay i will first of all copy the component okay i will copy all of these values and let me copy it twice okay now if we close the game and first of all let me disable that one or actually enable it again because now we will be working on that one okay so now simply just click on paste and then component values that's it now if we play the game again okay let's get inside inside the scene view as you can see now it is positioned correctly now let's do the same for this one as well so let me do this quickly
so now as you can see this uz looks perfect as well okay you can position this at according to your own game but for mine it looks good like this so i will just copy the component twice again okay and then let's close the game and after closing it let me click on this uz okay there it is and let me paste the values now as you can see after pasting the values it is in the player hand now now if you play the game again and let's get inside scene view as you can see now the player is holding the right is correctly as you can see okay so we have placed that successfully now in the next video we will allow shooting and movement using this user eye so let's end this one right here.